let's make my loaded mussels. Peppers, shallots, corn. You have no idea what you're in for. Add butter to a skillet. When it melts, add the shallots. Cook for about one minute for it to release its sweetness. And then when that's done, you add some garlic. You cook for about 30 seconds. Make sure you don't burn it. And when you're done with that, you're going to add the peppers. Now I went with orange and red. And then I just cut them in half. Here I am adding red pepper flakes and black pepper. Now I went with bijol instead of saffron because I didn't have saffron, but you can use saffron or bijol. Look in the link for information and then just a little bit of a zest of lemon. It's going to give it a super distinct taste. Make sure you scrape that from the back of your grater, give it a good stir. And then now we're going to add one cup of wine, white wine. I went with Pinot Grigio. And then when it's reduced about half, then I add chicken broth and then my corn. I went with white canned corn and then I just give it a good stir. I cover and I bring it to a boil. When it's brought to a boil, I add my mussels that I have cleaned, I have brushed, I've made sure they're perfectly clean to go in here. So that way there's nothing that you're gonna be crunching into while you're eating your mussels. And then you're gonna cover, lower the heat and then simmer for, I don't know, four or five minutes until the mussels start opening up. And then here they're almost done. I'm just taking a little bit of the broth and making sure it gets right into our mussels that are already opened. And then I'm gonna cover it again and allow the rest of them to open up. And when it's done, you're just gonna transfer it to your serving dish. Make sure you have some toasted bread because trust me, you're going to want to dip it in it. <laughs> and now you're just going to make sure, um, I know it's a lot of mussels. This is about two pounds of mussels, guys. So it's a nice amount. And it fed my husband, my mom, and myself. And then I made sure I put the rest of the broth over it. And once all that broth is in there, then I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of finely chopped parsley because it also elevates the flavor in this dish. And once it's done, I'm going to also add some wedges of lemon because you're going to want to squeeze some of that lemon while you're eating it. Trust me guys, this is so, so good. You are going to love it. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.